Hey, so good morning, everybody. This is Matt with Joe Cassie Quest. We're up here at Lake Joe Cassie in South Carolina. It's a beautiful morning. We're in front of Jumping Off Rock over there, and uh, we're trolling out here with downriggers this morning. Uh, we have Cannons STXs. They're great downriggers, very versatile. Highly recommend installing ball pullers on your downriggers because it really helps you retrieve that weight and bring it to you so you're not reaching out over the side of the boat. Safety first. So our setup, just have a very small swivel attached to about a four and a half foot line. That's a Sutton spoon. It's actually a 41, it's a thin spoon. It's got a very, very erratic wobble to it. Um, since it's thin, the water resistance really impacts it. So it's good to use these on short setbacks. So you can see right here that I have probably only 12 foot behind the ball. So that lure right there is gonna go down. We're gonna attach it to this clip system. Put the line in there. Then you can see your bait. Deploy your weight. And I use these live liner systems. I think they're the best way to troll. You have two drag systems. Akuma makes a very smooth drag system. So you just flip a switch to disengage the clutch for another drag. You got one on the rear, one on the front. So we're gonna send this south. There's a counter on the side of the downrigger that shows you the depth. And we're gonna put that down at about 45 foot. Flip a switch and you're ready to fight the fish. Always check your drag, make sure the drag is adjusted the way you want. We've got very light drag action on here, probably two pounds of test. So we've got that one down, short setback, 45 foot deep. And on this rod, we're actually gonna run a live bait. And I'll show you guys this rig I use for live bait. Nothing fancy about it. It's an octopus hook, snell tied to a trailer. Got a treble hook on there. And we will grab a bait. We've got some pretty large minnows this morning. And with these, you just want to hook a few lips from the bottom to the top. And if you look at that bait in the water, look how natural that looks. Hopefully that'll show up on the camera that that bait's uh, tracking really nice. So it'll be behind that downrigger. And we're gonna go with a pretty lengthy setback on this. Again, that's just tied to a small swivel. We're gonna go with about a 35 to 40 foot setback. Kick it in gear, flip the switch. You're good to go. about 25 foot it's overcast out here we've caught some fish shallow this morning so there you go not a whole lot to it big things here is just make sure that you take your time and have your equipment and an easy way to use it talk to y'all later fish on